December 28th, 2017. Timing the hook and the needle. After setting the needle bar height, set the sit stitch length to minimum. That's this thing over here. You're going to want to put that right in the center and tighten that down so you have zero stitch length. Um, turn the machine pulley toward you until the needle bar reaches its lowest point. That's the bottom dead needle, lowest point of the needle. Continue turning and allow the needle bar to rise about two millimeters. Now that should put the center of the ditch right in the center path of the hook. Uh, da, 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 da. This diagram here, your hook being this little tip up here and that being the center of the needle ditch right there. Or well, no, the other way around. The hook is on this side over here. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to run this all the way down to there. And then you're going to continue up to about there. And that should be about where the center of the needle ditch is. Now, if that's not the case, if your timing, hook timing is off, you're going to need to come over here to your hook. This is the hook, the rotating hook. Uh, there's actually the hook right there. That's the hook. Turn this by the hook. So there's the hook right there. There it is, focused to everything. All right, so that tip right there, the very end of that tip is where you want in the center of your needle, and we're not gonna be able to see that because I didn't take my plate off, but you're gonna run your needle up approximately two millimeters, and that should be where the hook hits the center of that needle ditch just like that. If it's not, you're going to need to come over here and you're going to need to loosen the two screws, the set screws, on your hook. And that is this screw in here. Let me get a better light on there. Sorry for the shaky, shaky video. But this, this screw right here, and then when you turn it back the other way this screw right here so you're going to loosen both of those screws oops All right. they're pretty tight i got these hand tight so that's not going to loosen with without some pressure on it and mine's set so but if you pull it up two millimeters and that hook's not there you're going to need to loosen those two screws and leave them finger tight so you can rotate the hook on the shaft. Now there's two things you've got to watch out for. You don't want the hook to go that way and run the hook into your needle and you don't want it too far away that way where it's going to have a big space in there and not make contact with your thread. So the timing is rotating the hook forward or backwards to get your timing and then you also need your hook space which is going to be this way or that way. So this is a really touchy thing to do and you're going to need these two hooks or these two screws here just tight enough so that they're grasping the shaft a little bit not slipping and uh, so you can run the machine rotate it a couple times and make sure that it's in the right position both to the needle and in time with the needle and you might have to you know come in and even you know pry this just a tiny bit while you're looking at it and tapping it uh, back and forth with a very lightly tapping it from the from like something solid like the base of the thing and uh, you know very carefully trying to get that set but those are the two screws and there's one in a ditch or a, a little groove that one right there the bottom one that one that's in this little you can almost see a little groove in there and then the top one is not in a groove so you want to try to leave that little one in the groove so you don't get you know rotated 180 degrees and uh way out of time and then the other one you want kind of finger tight too so it's gripping the shaft a little bit but you could still you know tap on that and move it a little bit or uh you know nudge it where you need it to be and then you set 
want to start to tighten up the screw in the groove first if you can and then go back tighten the other one and then turn it again tighten it up a little bit more do it in little increments don't try to tighten it all down at once because you'll probably move it and get it set wrong and then you're gonna have to go back and do it like 20 times you just set it a little bit check it set the other one a little bit tighten it a little bit tighten a little bit tighten a little bit and then you know come in with the hard hand tighten once you get the, the timing set but uh, that's what the book says. And again, needle bar height is not as critical as the bottom or the two millimeters down from the hook to set the bottom and then that critical, you know, center of the hook, center of the needle. That's the way it should, should look. Center of the needle ditch and the center of the hook coming to that point. That's in time. Two millimeters up from the bottom. Two millimeters. And then the, the they're saying 2.4 millimeters from the hole, from the eye of the needle where the thread goes through, 2.4. And again, that's not as critical as that point there. If your needle, you got a different needle in there or the wrong oh the other thing is make sure your needle is set all the way up make sure you've got your needle in there and there's no dirt in behind it or fuzz or anything um look in the little hole there make sure there's not no thread or anything caught in there if your needle isn't in the right position your needle bar uh is um uh, doesn't mean anything really so that's what the book says if you have any more problems uh Please uh, comment back or just text me, 941-232-8341. Thanks.